So the next thing we need to talk about is, you know, KPIs, right? We want to, we kind of know like, all right, we're, we're spending some money. We want to know what it's producing. So, I mean, there's, there's a few ways to do this, but you guys are saying what gets measured, well, it gets managed, right? Or gets done. But at, at a minimum, we recommend put, you know, putting some call tracking in place. And then that way you can kind of see where the calls are coming from. You can even track. I mean, you could even go, you could even put together like a Google Sheet dashboard to see how much you spend on marketing, how many calls you're getting, divide those out. Remember that worksheet we talked about earlier, you can figure out how much your cost per lead is. And as you guys know, it can get pretty expensive um, in this industry. But I mean, at a minimum, I would say start with the call tracking place. And I'll just show you, uh, I think I was in here checking on a client earlier. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you, right? So we can see. Well, I don't want to, can't show the customers. Um, but, you know, so we can see here, they've gotten 124 calls, including the days of the past 30 days, right? So not, not too bad in the restoration world. I mean, that's, you know, you'll be <clears throat> easy seven figures plus. Um, but I mean, so this, you know, so we can see that. How many calls are they getting? And then here's the interesting part you can see where the calls are coming from. And this, this kind of helps us see where the, you know, that, that helps us figure out the cost per lead based on source, right? You can do, you know, Google My Business Direct, Google Ads, you know, SEO, Organic, Direct. I mean, there's a lot of different ways. And this, you know, we, and we can record these calls as well. <clears throat> that way, from a, like I talked about the conversion aspect, you know, we'll we'll check in on these because I mean I've heard people almost blow calls before, and it's, it's I mean these are big jobs. It's what your people say once they get those leads are you know is extremely important. So if you have call tracking in place, not only can you monitor where the leads are coming from, but you can list the call recordings to make your make sure you and or your sales team are handling the calls appropriately for converting. You know, at the best. I mean, because some people we see that they, they just talk too much. They start. I mean, I don't recommend, you know, they start talking, you know, contracts and this or that. Like I've literally heard one of our clients almost blow a hundred thousand dollar job because he, he was like, he almost scared her off. And I was like, man, you just got to get out there and then close it. You can't, um, I, you know, I can talk about this for days. I, I get, that it gets me fired up, but <laughs> cause it's so important. Like he literally almost lost a hundred thousand dollar job because he was, he, he just didn't handle the call appropriately. So that's why, you know, I recommend putting call tracking in place. That way you can uh, keep, keep a pulse on everything. Hope you got value out of that video. If you're looking for more ideas and strategies for better ways to market your water, mold, or fire damage restoration business online, you can go to restorationmarketinggroup.com. And there we have a free checklist you can download. It's called the Ultimate Online Marketing Guide for Damage Restoration Contractors. And there you'll be able to get the latest strategies that are working now to really increase your lead flow online. You could probably even 5 to 10x the number of leads you're getting per month um, from internet marketing. So there should be a link below, um, restorationmarketinggroup.com. And there you can download the checklist for free of charge. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.